What's happening, everybody? It's another episode of Smithtown Live, and I'm with Brendan and Mike of the Smithtown Running Club, and today I'm going to get some new sneakers. So tell us a little bit about the Smithtown Running Club, how you got started, and what you're all about. Sure, yeah. So we're a specialty running store. Um, so our kind of our big thing is we fit people for running shoes, and we give them advice on all things running. Uh, we got started in Sable about 13 years ago. We opened our first shop, uh, Sable Running Company, down there on Main Street in Sable. And uh, as we grew a little bit and we got to know some folks in the community, we got to have some good customers from up this way uh, around Smithtown. And we started to realize that there were a lot more folks in Smithtown who were really into running, um, but it was yeah. maybe just a little bit too long of a trip to get down to our Sable shop. Uh, so uh, when we were looking to expend a little bit, this was one of the spots we looked, and we've been here what, about five years, Mike? Five years this yeah. May. Cool. Yeah, so five years this May, and, uh, and we're really enjoying our time here. One of the folks uh, who lived near our shop coached up here in Smithtown, and a physical therapist friend of ours that we wound up uh, spending a lot of time with, Craig Banger, physical therapy associates of Smithtown. He was up here, and, and we wound up just kind of realizing there was some really, really good running community up here that was kind of underserved by specialty running, so we wanted to come up and, and uh, reach out to the, more of the people around here. Okay, great. Yeah. And so how's it been so far being in Smithtown? How long have you guys been in the Smithtown location? Uh, it's been terrific. We've been here for about five years, and uh, I think we're uh, really feeling like it's home now. It's, uh, like it's, it's established. Yeah, yeah, spot. definitely. Any any store like ours takes a little bit of time to establish itself. Okay. But uh, yeah, Mike. I mean, Mike's here every single day. He's the manager of the store here, so you can probably talk that a little bit too. Yeah, I feel like the running community and the physical therapists, the podiatrists, everybody's um, really welcoming us and you know going on five years and uh, we look forward to um, just being here for as long as possible okay so I know I came in the other day to introduce myself and talk to you and, and get new sneakers um, tell us a little bit about what you guys do here different than me just going on to Amazon or whatever or I should say online huh. Um, and getting a set of sneakers. What do you guys do differently here? And how? And like, my wife is a physical therapist. Yeah. So she's always looking at people and saying, you know, oh, his gait is way off, or you know, this is why he has back problems because of this. And so, why is it important to get fitted for a set of sneakers? Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of reasons. Um, running shoes are really hard. Uh, if, if you don't actually try them on, it's really hard to tell if they're going to work for you. So that's like the most basic reason. Um, but really, I think what differentiates us is the product we carry. We carry like a higher caliber of shoe from all the different brands. So every brand has models that will be good for different types of feet. And one of our specialties is sort of matching up which model from which brand is appropriate for a, a certain uh, certain foot type, whether it be wide or long or it moves mechanically a certain way, um, there's different factors that we look at and can help uh, help people kind of narrow down their choices to what might work for them. Okay. And then the other thing I'd say is um, we're a major resource for advice. Like, Mike, how long have you been, uh, have, how long have you been running and how long have you been coaching? And um, So I started running in seventh grade. Um, that was about wow. 20 years ago now. Um, and we've been coaching for since 2007 so 12 years um, started right out of college and um, yeah we just love when people come in with questions how to start running how to start getting into a fitness routine um, and all the way up to looking for advice for the marathon and beyond yeah so okay. we, we can uh, we do I think a pretty good job of just uh, of selling people the appropriate equipment and then also helping teach them how to use it. Okay, so there is a, a, a technique to to running and running properly and not like overexerting yourself on your first run and blowing your, you know, <laughs> exactly. blowing something out. You exactly, know? yeah, I mean, I think the temptation when people are getting into it is to just go, 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 go. Right. Um, but but it's a process, it's, it takes consistency. So you okay. gotta learn how, uh, how to do it little bits at a time and, and grow your ability to do it. Okay, great. And what else you guys, I noticed there's 
running packs and pedometers and all sorts of gear. What's you guys like cover the whole entire gamut of running, right? We sure do. Yeah, we try to have anything that a runner might need. So, so energy stuff. Yeah, right? we've got what all the some of the other products that you guys have in here that you might not find in in a in a store or have to search online for. Sure. Yeah, we've got some of the nutritional stuff um, for if you're running a longer race. We've got um, certain insoles that can be helpful uh, either for your dress shoes when you're not running or for your, your running shoes if you do need them in your running shoes as well. Okay. Um, we've got uh, we've got some cool products that are just uh, sort of community driven. So we've got some some Run Long Island T-shirts and some some T-shirts that have uh, sort of local character to them. Yeah. They name like the one over. Our shoulder here names a bunch of famous local hills on Long Island, so okay. runners are very familiar with all those hills. Road, and, yeah, James Street, yeah. Yeah. James Street's uh, okay. obviously, you know, there's a, the whole bunch of them there. So yeah, so that's. Um, that's and part I noticed you're carrying Ciccone, New Balance. What are the other brands that you're you're um, carrying? Um, so we carry all the major running brands. We have Adidas, Asics, uh, New Balance, Saucony, Mizuno, um, Brooks. Brooks, and then two more um, specialty running brands, um, Hoka, One One, and On, um, which is a Swedish-based company. Okay. Very cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. There's. It just seems like there's so much more to running than just throwing on a pair of sneakers and running out, you know, going out for a jog. Definitely. I, I just, I think it's always really cool. I don't know, we'll be helping a kid get their first pair of shoes for track, um, which, uh, you know, Mike and I both ran track in high school. That was a big part of why we love running, so that's always fun. Okay. Or sometimes you help somebody who uh, has been having foot trouble and they have a really wide foot and they didn't know that shoes come in wide widths. And so you bring out a wide width shoe for them and all of a sudden it's like, Eureka, this can be comfortable. I didn't know shoes could be comfortable. So okay. um, we have some really cool feel-good moments like that where, uh, you know, I mean, it's not it's not rocket science, but we do make a difference in people's lives in terms of uh, just their everyday comfort sometimes, and yeah. that's always rewarding. So, Mike, who's, we know we have a lot of famous people that live on Long Island. Sure. Who's the most famous person that you've bumped into running or has come into your store and said, hey, I want to get a set of um, sneakers? So, um, actually, we've had Al Levine on the scene from WBLI in the store a few times. Okay. He, primarily at our Sava location. Okay. Um, just actually, he didn't even, I, his voice sounded familiar, obviously, but um, just getting to talking to him and he, you know, we hold little conversations. Each, you know, each customer that comes in is like a little story. And yeah. I was talking to him about what he was doing with them. He was just wearing them to work. So I asked him where he worked. He told me he works for a radio station. And basically after asking a billion and one questions, he finally just said, hey, I'm Al Levine on the scene. I'm, you know, from 10 to 2 every Monday through Friday on BLI. Yeah. Catalan Autos come in uh, yeah. quite frequently. Okay. They run a local charity. Okay. And we, uh, they buy their shoes from us, but we also donate um, raffle prizes for them. Okay. Yeah, speaking of donation, I noticed when I came in and you had mentioned it to me, you guys have kind of a way of giving back for when people come in, they could bring in their old shoes. Correct. And tell us how that works. Yeah, so, uh, so we collect old shoes uh, to either recycle or to give to someone who needs them. And uh, we give 10% uh, off your purchase when you come in and do that. So okay. it keeps the shoes out of landfill. It keeps, uh, you know, sometimes running shoes are are too worn to run in, but they're still okay, um, you know, to wear around a little bit if, if someone who needs them. Okay. Um, so that helps helps people out that way too. So you're giving them out to local a local charity that may be able to use them for exactly. women in need or homeless shelter or something like that. Exactly. That's and really if they're really great. banged up, then they recycle and it just at least stays out of the landfill. But yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Absolutely. And I'm also noticing all your um, high school jerseys. So you guys really have a, 
a tight knit of runners in all of the high school, Smithtown East and Smithtown West? Yeah, definitely. We get a lot of the local high school uh, kids to come in, which, like we said, is always really fun for us because that's how we got our start. And uh, it started, we put uh, our own jerseys up on the wall uh, as sort of decorations when we first opened. And then, you know, one team would see that the other team was up there and they'd say, hey, how come you don't have us up? So they started bringing in, you know, we, we got a nice little collection going from everybody. Very cool. Yeah. So how does the fitting process happen? I'm sure. going to get sneakers. I'm going to start running, hopefully. Yeah, I like it. Excellent. How does the fitting process yeah. happen? So, like, so typically we would have you come in and we'd have you take your shoes off. And we've got uh, this machine just back over our left shoulder here that helps uh, take an image of your foot and how you distribute the pressure on your feet, the height of your arches, that, okay. those sort of things. Gives us a little bit of idea of the shape of your foot. Uh, and then we probably have a little conversation with you about what your goals are, what you plan to be using them for, um, you know, your intentions that way. Okay. And then and next, we'd uh, we'd put you through a little test where we have you walk a little bit, and we'd see the way your foot moves when you walk. Okay. And then we kind of take all those factors in, and uh, and we head into the back, and we grab you three or four different pairs that we think might work for you, and we let you try them on. And then um, you would give us some feedback as to what's comfortable and what's not, and maybe we go back and grab another couple of pairs, and you can try some more stuff on if you like, or maybe you find a pair you really like in the first set, and okay. um, yeah, we kind of go from there. So the first thing you really concerned about is the fit and the comfort, not that they're orange with, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, nice design on the side. Definitely. They're going to look good, right? but they have to be functional. Exactly. We, we definitely always say, you know, fit and performance first. You want to look at these like they're your equipment. Right. Um, you know, you don't have to go out to dinner in them. You can just, uh, you know, you're using them to run. So we want you to, we want you to have something you like, but we really want you to be comfortable. And if you're coming to us, it's because you want to be happy running. You don't want to be, you, know, you do these things to feel better, not to feel worse. So Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and especially, I mean, getting out and running, and I know for me when I exercise, it clears the head, it gets you more focused on work and business and stuff like that. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me down here. I'm going to get some sneakers now and have these guys pick me up. Right on. And um, we'll, we'll go from there. Oh, real quick. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you.